Aikun, and uh, you're doing a new Prague seg segment? Yeah, so we are going to be doing uh, some cloud books and also two-in-one devices uh, moving forward. Um, right now, this is more of a uh, prototypes that, that we're showing at the show now. Um, if you look here, these are all based on Cherry Trail uh, Intel technology. Um, we are going to be doing some private tooling and private design for this product moving forward. So it'll be like different designs compared to what other people are doing? Yeah, I think so. Um, we want to do something a little more higher end for our customer base. Uh, also, you know, there's certain aspects of, of, the, of this specific uh, public tooling that we don't care for, that we like to change. For instance, uh, if you look at the bezel, uh, we want to go with the thinner bezel, hopefully about 50% of what this currently is. Uh, we like to update the screens on the device and also update the chipset. Uh, to the, I believe it's the Skylake chipset is the next uh, one above Cherry Trail. So it's going to be your Intel devices? Yes. Uh, we feel for Intel it makes more sense for us to pursue uh, larger formats than a 7 inch or, or an 8 inch. We feel the, the sweet spot is going to be a 12.2 to 13.3. This is for our workstation, is a Windows Intel device? Is yeah, this is a Windows 10. Windows 10? Yes. Alright, let's go around here. You have a new color for the for the 3D tablet? Yeah, so as you know from previous videos visiting us, this is our uh, Morpheus X300. It's our 2D, 3D gaming tablet. What we've decided to do is we're going to offer four colors on this device. Uh, we have the standard black, we will have a red, we will also do a white version and a gold version for certain markets. All right. So. Uh, that's uh, that's stable and uh, there's more and more content for it? Yeah, so we, we've made some content deals for China and also we're working on content deals in Europe and the United States to bring native 3D gaming and native 3D movies to the uh, platform. Nice. That's great. And we see here Snapdragon. Do uh, you have some new Snapdragon products? Yeah, we have two devices, Snapdragon. So here is our 8-inch. And we also have a 7-inch device. Uh, this is based on the Snapdragon 410 model. Yeah. This is a 4G uh, LTE device. It's got an aluminum uh, uh, back cover. All right, so it's a quad-core ARM Cortex A53. Yes. With LTE. Yes, and this is based on Android 6.0. So the latest Android. Yes. And smooth. And. Uh, but it's still uh, kind of like uh, entry level 4G yeah, tablet. It's, it's an entry level 4G LTE. You know, uh, you know, Samsung or, or I'm sorry, Qualcomm really decided uh, to get into the tablet market. Um, they're starting off with only a select number of uh, manufacturers at this time um, to push their technology into developing markets. Nice. So that's great. Uh, we also have plans for our Soli line. Uh, we are going to convert our Soli line into Qualcomm chipsets. So the, right here, those will also have a Qualcomm LTE? Yes, yeah, so for our quad core, we will, we will convert to the 410. Uh, for the octa-core, we're still negotiating and kind of deciding which processor we should use for our octa-core model. There's different options there. It could be uh, an 800 series or 600 series or sure, uh, sure. there's different, different performance and different options right there. And it, it's, you know, as you know, in this industry, a lot of it's going to be based on the price points um, for the specific markets that we're going to be targeting. What kind of markets? Uh, well, with Qualcomm, you know, the entry-level devices, this, this can still give us and get us into the developing markets like Latin America, parts of Asia, Eastern Europe. For the OctaCore model, this is definitely going to be more of a Western markets. This is going to be North America, Europe, uh, Australia, and parts of Asia.